And we're back in the outside. Uh, so I was here last time when it was raining and cold and found a bad compressor and possibly a TXV. So we're just gonna change the compressor TXV and the line dryer. So I'm doing a recovery right now. Uh, so while that's happening, I'm gonna start taking this thing apart. So here we go. I was looking at this long box and I was like, what's this? Oh, well, at least I don't have to worry about wrapping that TXV. But this is going to be a pain in the butt. So this is a York. Thank you, York. Thanks for making it very difficult for me. Could have easily sent me a conversion kit to bolt on. But no. I was thinking about sweating that off and then sweating it on the old one. But uh, look how close it is to that body. Probably going to end up overheating the TXV. So I think I'm just going to have to deal with it. So yeah, and it's taken forever to pull a recovery on this thing because uh, it's cold out here. It's about, uh, what is it? It's about 36 degrees and I'm doing refrigeration. That's a heat pump, so that's why, but yeah, good times. All right, so our recovery is done. It took forever. Um, anyway, I got this thing apart. So these right here, I'm gonna have to sweat these out and sweat in each individual new one. There's one, two, three, four, five of them. Oh, nope, six. So yeah, good times. And then that's gonna come out, and then that's gonna come out. All right, so we're gonna take these guys, these guys off. So uh, here we go. And we're putting nitrogen through. There's one. There's two. There's three. You can't blow it out when you have the mask on. Alright. So we got four, I got two down. Two more. Taking off the mask. All right, so we got our last one down here. Of course, there's a bunch of crud in the way. So, let me take this crud off here. It's that cork tape. I think this is where the uh, defrost sensor used to be. Uh, somebody moved it up here because you know, we got snow here, so. All right, we're ready. So now we gotta pop this guy out. And then hopefully, hopefully the new ones uh, go in as easy as these came out. Because these actually weren't so bad. And I haven't melted anything so far, so, so far so good. Sweet. All right, so we got them all out. So now, now we gotta take this out and that out. So it seems like it's all attached. I think I'm gonna pull this off first. Yeah. All right, cool. Awesome. So the equalizer port is just brazed into a hole. I hate New York. I really hate you. Awesome. Okay, so we're gonna braise it. We're gonna sweat it off from here and then I'll have more room so I can sweat it off. Oh, I got a hole in my glove. So I've been looking at this, trying to figure out how I'm gonna do this because the stupid pressure sensor is right here. So I did end up cutting off the TXV from this point 
just because it was extra weight and it was making it a pain to move around. So what I'm thinking I'm gonna do is I will just switch this bad boy here and then cut my TXV tube a little bit shorter so it reaches um, and then braise it up here. That way it's not, you know, I don't want to braise here and then I can just sweat this off right here. Yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna do. Yeah, definitely. All right, cool, so we're gonna sweat this off first. Okay, so we are going to go ahead and braise in our um, filter line dryer. I don't actually have any 3 8 <laughs> copper, so I can't put it in a straight piece, which sucks, but whatever, it is what it is. I'm going to have to melt off this extra solder first before I can get that on there, and then we'll go from there. Okay, so we got that all brazed back together. The TXV is brazed on. Um, so now I'm just dry fitting everything. So it's all dry fitted. Doesn't look as pretty as the last one, but uh, hopefully I don't melt a coil. So <laughs> here we go. Alrighty, we got everything brazed in, new compressors in, we got it under pressure. So it's been holding for about 15 minutes. So I'm just gonna kind of clean up and take a lunch and then uh, Hopefully, once I'm all done cleaning up, I can uh, start the vacuum so that way it'll pull a vacuum while I'm, uh, while I'm at lunch. Um, yeah, it's like 40 degrees, so it's going to take forever. But anyway, so, so good so far. Okay, so we're pulling a vacuum. The VP85 is doing pretty good in the cold. I'm already at 1,000. So hopefully it'll be done by the time I get back from lunch. Okay, so we're back from lunch. We just started putting stuff together. I already mounted the bulb. I'm just gonna insulate it. I put on the coil sensor for the uh, defrost, and this is where we're at. So we're at 408 uh, microns, so it's looking good. We got our refrigerant, we're gonna charge her up, and hopefully it works. Okay, so it's all back together. It's running. Um, I'm still charging it up with refrigerant. I was only able to get four pounds, and it needs 14 pounds. Uh, but I can only get four pounds worth it off, so I have it on cooling mode right now, so I'm just sucking in the rest of it. So uh, four, five, six, seven, so we're almost at eight pounds. So yeah, so I'm going to finish this up, and uh, but that's pretty much it. So everything seems to be working so far, but uh, we'll see once it's fully charged, and we'll run in heat. Hey, so... Looks like the last part of that video got corrupted. Um, as you can see, I'm editing right now. But anyway, I uh, just wanted to let you know how it ended up. Uh, it turned out uh, everything was working fine. Pressures were normal. I was able to charge in the rest of the refrigerant. It took forever. I had to actually use a map gas torch to heat up the tank to get the, all the refrigerant in there. Um, but it was working. So uh, anyway, hopefully this helps. Uh, thanks for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe, comment, tell me what a horrible technician I am. Hit that bell notification and uh, follow me on Instagram and Facebook. Thanks for watching.